you're purchasing a house, you need a pre-approval for a mortgage, what do you do to get one? Okay, so in this day and age, everybody knows when you're purchasing a property, you need a pre-approval. And what does that mean? Essentially, you're going to a lender, you're telling them that your situation is this, they look at your notice of assessment, they look at your earnings, and they look at what they call a TDS or total debt to service ratio, which is basically what is your current debt versus what you currently earn. From that, they say, hey, you can afford to buy a property of this amount. They'll give you a pre-approval letter, um, which holds an interest rate for you know anywhere between three to six months. Now, what I will say is a pre-approval letter is not a guarantee of, of approval on an actual mortgage. There are a few things that a bank needs to do to ensure that a mortgage can be executed. So you buy a property, usually it's conditional on finance. You need to bring that purchase, of, purchase and sale agreement to the lender. And the lender says, okay, with this particular property, we'll lend you this amount. That's one thing. They need to appraise the property and they need to make sure that uh, the property that they're providing the mortgage for is worth it for them. The second thing is they reevaluate you at that point and maybe even before closing to say, look, you've said your situation is this. Has the situation stayed the same? If you've changed jobs, if you've uh, incurred a debt, like bought a car, your situation is very different from the pre-approval time and so you may not get approved for a mortgage and the deal could fall through. Once everything is all said and done, and you've done all these things, you'll get a mortgage commitment. That means the lender approves your situation. They've verified the property is worth providing a mortgage on, and that your situation hasn't changed up until closing.